let me go ahead and get started, though. Thank you all for inviting me to join you today. I'm excited to be here, and not just for those good ribs. But uh, when Doug Manson and Pat Lehman invited me to come down to this event, I jumped at the chance. And not just because Doug is, Doug is such a good friend or that Pat's such a great guy. But I'm happy to be here because this project and the partnership behind it is the exact type of project I'm excited about and hope to see more of while I'm Secretary at DEP. Now, everybody keeps asking me since I've come in there pre-New Year, what are your priorities? What are you trying to get done? They all want us to be able to put that down in some nice little bullet points. And to be honest, in a few short months I've served there, we had this little thing called session going on, and I've had some trips to South Florida thrown in. There's this other area over there called the Everglades people seem to be really worried about. And I haven't had much time to develop official, slick-sounding priorities for the agency. You know, Vineyard would always say, get the water right. We're going to get it right. Well, I'm pretty red, but that sounded really, really red to me. So we're going to work on that a little bit. But I can tell you, I firmly believe that Florida's environment, particularly our water resources, drive our quality of life and, in turn, our economy. And this week, Pat, you mentioned as we celebrate National Drinking Water Week, it's the perfect time to reflect on the importance of a sustainable water supply to help our population and economy grow while serving the environment. And when it comes down to it, I'm just a guy who wants to get stuff done. I want to spend my time at DEP focusing on supporting and completing projects that will have the biggest benefits not only to our natural resources, but our communities, just like this one, and ultimately our taxpayers. So projects like this facility they're not easy to put together, and I think y'all have alluded to that, and it's really great to see some of my former county commissioners from where I saw Commissioner Staub and Commissioner Hill, and it was great to hear the stories when we went out to see the reservoir. Commissioner Staub, you getting to run the backhoe for the slurry wall and getting everything started. I mean, that, that was really neat to me, but um, seeing four counties work together like that in partnership with the state and with the South West Florida Water Management District, I mean, you found a way to ensure a reliable and affordable supply of water for nearly a million people. And you have some great partners in this project to the Water Management District. I finally got to, a lot of these guys only had a chance to meet by phone, but uh, Governing Board Member Mike Moran back there, nice to meet you in person today. Uh, Executive Director Robert Beltran, Assistant ED Brian Armstrong, and of course David Rathke, we've been working together for years. So great to see you guys down here in your backyard. At the same time, by thinking outside of the box and utilizing not only surface water storage, but also ASR, you're helping to ensure the supply remains sustainable as the population continues to grow because it's going to continue to grow. And you're also ensuring that this region of the state and its one-of-a-kind water resources remain protected. By collecting and storing water during the wet seasons, you're making sure the Peace River and the downstream Charlotte Harbor estuary sustain the freshwater flows that are needed year-round. Your treatment plant also reflects your commitment to innovation and excellence. Now using four separate distinct water plants operating in tandem to provide a high level of reliability, last year, DP South District, and John Iglehart, where are you? Raise your hand, good to see you. Um, they awarded you with the Drinking Water Plant Operations Excellence Award. And so John's a great guy. If y'all haven't all worked with him, I know you probably work with him a lot more than you'll ever see me, but make sure to get over and meet him before today's out. It's this type of forward thinking, beneficial project that I'm excited to continue to support. One of the areas I'm already working to improve at DEP is our contracting procedures. A lot of people don't know it, but we're in essence a large pass-through agency. A lot of the grants and programs, we're proud to distribute millions of state dollars each year to the communities and resources that need them the most. We're going to share best practices and encourage consistency across our many grant programs. I hope to get this important funding out the door quickly. It shouldn't take years to get some of these projects even started. Out the door quickly to Florida's communities. Now this is a concept that's always been important to me and during my time in Northwest Florida Water Management District, we expanded our efforts to support local governments and utilities to ensure a clean and reliable water supply to communities. There, it's a little bit smaller, you can say we're a little podunk, but we found a way there to create a water supply development grant program that helped fund over 50 projects in the two years I was there in 15 out of the 16 of the counties. Now this is a concept I'm excited to focus on at DEP and we recently reorganized our office to create a division of water funding solely focused on funding water projects. Now, I'm hoping this more centralized and strategic approach will help us deploy these state financial resources to address these key needs, once again, more quickly. This division will manage not only the state revolving loan fund, but also the beach management funding, springs funding, and all other grants and funds appropriated to the department to support water projects, including special appropriations and alternative water supply funds. I want communities and groups like this one, groups that want to do the right thing, for our citizens and our environment to view DEP as a resource, an agency that will help you get these worthwhile projects done, not just merely permit you along the way. 
When Governor Scott and I first sat down together, we talked about the importance of completing projects that have been discussed for years but have stalled due to lack of strong leadership and bureaucracy. I was excited to see that Governor Scott clearly demonstrated his desire to complete these important projects when he rolled out his proposed budget. I represent P. on. I know we're all about to get back up there pretty soon and talk about that again. And as you've seen and or heard, it was an interesting 60 or possibly 57 days for some. Now, I can't promise where the budget will land, but I can assure you that the governor shares my desire to ensure that all Floridians, including those in financially disadvantaged communities, have a safe and reliable water supply. Now, his recommended budget includes $50 million for water supply development projects this year. That would kick off a 10-year, $500 million grant program to provide more than 250 million gallons of water a day to Floridians. Now, I can promise you that the committed staff at DEP will continue to work with the governor, our partners at the water management districts, and utilities and local governments to support projects just like this one across the state. Thank you for having me down here today.